How's it going everyone? In today's video, we have some big news on plans to turn a top WWE star heel, more WWE releases, and a whole lot more. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest wrestling news. Alright guys, so for our first story of today, we have the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamite. So according to a new report from Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics, Monday Night Raw drew 1,500,000 viewers and a .36 in the key demo rating, NXT drew 670,000 viewers with a .13 in the key demo rating and AEW Dynamite drew 911,000 viewers and a .29 in the key demo rating. So it looks like Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamite all took a big hit in the ratings this week. Next up, we have some news on precautions WWE is taking ahead of Crown Jewel. So in just a few days, WWE is set to hold another big pay-per-view event in Saudi Arabia. And although there is concern about an imminent attack from Iran on targets in the kingdom, PWInsider.com reports that WWE has been in regular contact with the State Department in advance of the Crown Jewel pay-per-view. In addition, the area that is believed to be endangered is nowhere near Rijad, which is where Crown Jewel is scheduled to be held. Next, we have some news on WWE's plan to release even more superstars. So despite WWE's recent batch of NXT releases, it looks like the company still plan on letting go even more superstars. Because according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, WWE is going to continue to release wrestlers at the 6th month mark if they are not progressing at a certain level. In addition, anyone who does not get to television within 2 years could also end up getting released. Next up, we have some big news on plans to turn a top WWE star heel. So despite being off of WWE television for the past few months due to injury, it looks like WWE has big plans to turn a top star heel when they return, as WrestleVolt reports via Give Me Sport that WWE's original plan for Randy Orton's return from injury would have seen him immediately turn heel on Matt Riddle. However, because the severity of Randy Orton's back injury remains unknown, it is unclear if that is still the plan when he returns. So now guys, I want to give you my thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed today. Starting off with our first topic, we did talk about the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and also AEW Dynamites. And Brandon Thurston did a report that Monday Night Raw drew 1,500,000 viewers. NXT drew 670,000 viewers and AEW Dynamite drew 911,000 viewers and uh, obviously it looks like all of the shows did see a pretty big drop in the ratings department but I'm pretty sure when uh, their competition ends like uh, the World Series and things like that that the ratings will go back up again. The next topic that we discussed today was precautions WWE is taking ahead of Crown Jewel this weekend and PWInsider.com they report that WWE has been in regular contact with the State Department and everything looks pretty uh, good to go for WWE to hold Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia and in my opinion guys I really hope that nothing ends up happening and that uh, the imminent attacks that was reported uh, by the I believe it was the Wall Street Journal hopefully nothing ends up happening uh, because that would be obviously very uh, sad the next story that we discussed was WWE's plan on releasing even more stars and Dave Meltzer did report in the Wrestling Observer Radio this week he did say that WWE is going to continue to release even more stars at the six month or year mark uh, they are going to release stars who have not uh, progressed at a certain level. Uh, he also said that uh, stars who do not get uh, to television within two years could also end up getting released. 
And in my opinion, guys, I think this is WWE's way of pretty much seeing who is actually dedicated to becoming a professional wrestler uh, for the company. And I think that uh, we will be seeing a lot of more uh, releases in the future. The next story that we talked about was plans to turn a top WWE star heel. And according to WrestleVotes via Give Me Sport, they did say that WWE's original plan for Randy Orton's return from injury would have seen him immediately turn on Matt Riddle. That was the plan as of May. However, because of Randy Orton's back injury, it remains unknown if that is still the plan. And in my opinion, guys, I do think that when Randy Orton makes his return to WWE television, I'm pretty sure that he will end up turning on Matt Riddle and then that could start their feud to then eventually have a match at WrestleMania. So that will be pretty interesting to see if Randy Orton ends up uh, turning heel when he returns. So with that being said, guys, that is all of the news that we have for today. Make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed today in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.